Hey, what's up guys? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're working in Wesley Chapel, Florida. We're here for a returning customer. This actually was one of my very first customers when I started my pressure washing business. Uh, she's an older lady. She actually just turned 82 years old. Um, as you guys know, when I was new, obviously I was in charge of high ticket back then. I mean, this job was like on the lower end of the spectrum for me. I did it not because just I was new, but you know, I like to take care of my older customers. So um, we're gonna be doing uh, her little driveway here. She has a small back patio. We got a little bit of uh, white picket fence that we have to clean and um, a walkway to the front door. Um, she's a very, very cool lady, man. Reminds me like of my, uh, like my own grandma, man. So we're gonna take care of her today. I got my boy Steven with me. Uh, we got three jobs on the schedule today. We got a big, big roof cleaning next. And then we have a house wash and a pool deck to finish to finish out the day. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, leave a comment if you got any questions. Thank you guys for all the support. With that said, let's go check the job out. All right, so this is the front of the uh, the property. We got a driveway here, which it's like broken in the middle. There's no driveway here, and then the rest continues there. We're gonna be doing this white fence. It's been three years since I've done this fence. You guys can see it's a lot of algae build up on it. Pretty dingy looking on both sides. Um, Steven is in the back right now doing the patio. What I'm going to do is use my soft wash system and use about a maybe like a 2% mix uh, on here. I'm going to use that with my soft wash gun and I'm going to pre-treat the concrete. Go to hit the fence form hit all that so when he's he's done with the back you know he can just come up here and rinse or i might just rinse it off with my 12 gpm depends who gets done on uh, the fastest so uh let me show you guys the rest of the property we got here man grandma had us moving furniture <laughs> she had nah, she had like two little small cabinets man them things was like 25 30 pounds she couldn't move them so we took care of that for her, but we're going to be doing this area here. And she just asked us to uh, clean this. I think they call them scallops. Is that what they call them? Y'all let me know if I'm saying it right or not. We're going to be doing those. Clean those up for her. I'm going to be putting the pre-treatment on there as well. <laughs> she got a big, nice backyard, but man, those pine trees are killing her, boy. Pine needles everywhere. So Steven is back here. He's gonna knock out this little patio here. He's add, adding a little pre-treatment. Get that cleaned up. And um, I'm also gonna go ahead and hit these tables too. I'm gonna hit these with the pump up sprayer. So when you get done with that, you can rinse this too. Cause you can see we got some real deep dark algae on here. Look at that. All right, stay tuned. Steven got done doing the back. I've already done the fence. He started on the driveway in the front right now. Up here is pretty much done. We just gotta do this section of the driveway. He's done with that. You can see the fence is looking pretty good. I did a 2% mix on there and just ball valve rinsed it. Pretty straightforward and simple. Nice and clean. Fence is popping. I got. I'm gonna do a 
do her a little favor and I got this little mailbox too. It's kind of dingy, so we're gonna spray that down. So Steven is coming up up here now to finish up this part. Hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you haven't yet, give me a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it, thank you. Okay, we all wrapped up. Let's do a little quick recap. Uh, 10 o'clock on the dot right now. We started about 8.30ish. So let's check it out. All right, this is the back. Padre was looking pretty good. Yeah, got the tables clean for him. For her, I should say, grandma. Clean tables, clean patio. Show you guys the front. I just showed you guys the fence. Got these cleaned up right here for her. And of course the driveway and, and the walkway. Clean, clean concrete. The front driveway is cleaned up, still drying. Got a post treatment on here. I did go five or uh, six percent on the post treatment because I want to get my soft wash system up to up to speed for the next job which is a roof cleaning so that way I gotta sit there and spray it. <clears throat> spray it until uh it comes out but I told you man grandma's take care of us man look we got us some good old ginger ale yeah. this the this the real deal dude boy Canada dry that's the real deal, that's the real deal ginger you gotta say ginger ale with the R <laughs> we got the check in here. We got some Hershey's in here, but we ready to go. We see how we get the next job. Okay, we made it to the second job. Right now we're in Lutz, Florida, uh, Cheval neighborhood. We're gonna be doing a two-story uh, tile roof cleaning. Pretty big, it's hard to see the whole thing from the bottom. Um, it's like a one and a half story, so therefore most of it gotta be seen from up top, but let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, to start off, you can see, guys, <laughs> these things are super dark. They're right on the um, golf course. I'm guessing the HOA probably got on them because you know, this stands out when you're right on the golf course. But you guys can see how dark this roof is. I'm gonna show you guys a better view when I'm up top. Uh, it's walkable, at least for me, so. Should be easy to spray this. Got here right now, it's 11.08. I'm gonna have Steven start watering all the plants down, down before I get up top. Make sure everything stays protected. I did have to use a gutter bag in one of the gutters because it leads to the grassy area. So, I'll show you guys now. So this gutter here, you guys can see it leads to a grassy area. So we don't want that to be dripping all over, you know, 6% all over the grass. That's definitely gonna kill that area right there. The rest of them, like over there, leads to the driveway. And uh, the other ones leads to like rocky area. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gun, go up top and show you guys what it looks like. All right, let's see what we got up here. Always do your walk around before you start spraying. 
and document everything you see. You guys can see how black this roof is, how dirty this roof is. So you got broken tiles. Look at that. The whole piece is missing. I don't even know where it is. Broken tile, broken tile. So you just go around. I'm just gonna show you guys a few. And I also tell you guys when you walk, you walk where they overlap. This is where you walk, just like this. You got a broken tile here. Look at that. Broken tiles are everywhere. Got some broken tiles over here. Over there. It's like got some over here. I see some pieces down there. I don't even know where they come from. Show you guys a few more back here. Got a broken tile right there. I see a few more down here. Jesus Christ, bro. We got some broken tiles over here. Keep on going around, show you guys the other side. I haven't been there yet, so we're gonna see it together. You're walking sideways, look at that. See, just cross over, just like that. Ooh, this baby is dirty, guys. <laughs> this baby is dirty. Jesus Christ, look at that. How black this is. Got a broken tile right there. All right, so this is the front side. Should be pretty easy, straightforward. I'm using the 6% to do this. I'm gonna start back here, knock all these out, move on to the front.
guys, we got this back section sprayed. It's looking much better. Let me see if I can show you guys a look. Looks much better than <laughs> this side. Um, this is the first coat. I will go back and uh, touch up any little spots I may have missed. And I know you guys that are asked about these spots on these roofs, they don't come off. That's the design of the roof. That is not algae. Like that would never come off, all right? That's the design of the roof. You can see it's all over. That's how the tile was made. That would never come off, all right? So we're gonna spray it here. I'm gonna have uh, Steven meet me over here and then we'll just wrap around and go down to the ladder. progress you guys can see a difference get down here and that we haven't gotten there yet I still have to go back and I'll touch up like I said I'm not spraying holy water <laughs> so we're gonna keep on working around and I'll just double back and uh, touch up the spots I need Steven is still down there watering everything from me noticing a lot of broken tiles as I'm going around that's why we record now let's keep working
Okay, we all finished here. Oh boy, I took that mask off. That's six percent strong. Anyway, this is what we're looking like now. Looks like a whole different roof. Like I said, these marks are part of the tile. It's not algae streaks. This side was super bad, as well as over here. And come on guys, if you like this type of work, this type of result, give me a thumbs up. We're gonna get down, water down some more, and now we'll be heading to the third job. Stay tuned. I'm gonna hit him up and be like, man, let me know when y'all ready for a house walk, cause y'all need it. The gutters are stupid dirty. They stir the gutters. I hope they don't think that was part of the house on uh, the roof wash. All right, guys, as I see, I got some uh, runoff. All right, y'all, see this is why I put the bag there. Collect all that runoff right here. It's 6%, I don't want to burn the grass. You can put this in a pump-up sprayer. You can strain it and uh, use it. That'll be 50-50. You can put that on the driveway for post treatment if you want to. All right, you guys, we have the final job for the day. Right now, we're in Dover, Florida. We're going to be doing a house wash and a pool cage cleaning. This house is going in the market. Uh, it's pretty dirty, so it's going to need some love, man. We got a lot of mud daubers and the cage is full of lichen, so let's go check it out. All right, to start off, you guys can see we got some algae on the fascia, but man, under here is full of mud daubers, man, and, and bees nests, <laughs> and they're everywhere. Mostly bees nests. So we gotta get all of those down. Look at that, man, that's horrible. We got some plants here we got to water down the gate doesn't open on this side so we got to wrap around the other way so we'll wash the pool deck first and then come out here and do the the house second we got the soffits are pretty dirty over here you can see a line of algae on, on the wall dirty soffits face is dirty as well we're gonna see if i can show you guys the back I got, oh, that's the, the battery. Yeah, I don't need it right now. Yeah. They were gonna get the driveway done. Give them the quote, they opt to uh, leave it out for now. So we're gonna leave the driveway, only doing the house. This side of the house is not too bad. But uh, I tell you that, cage is bad, man. I hate dealing with lichen. I mean, let me step back for you guys. Yeah, you can see it all on top of the cage, how bad it is. I'm walk in here. Look at that, you can't even walk, look outside the cage. I mean, it, the cage is dirty, but the screens is just terrible. So that's going to take a lot of love, man. Look at this. So we're going to hit it with a downstream mix, make sure we get uh the beams back white get all of this right here cleaned up you got some um like it all over man look at that so yeah we're gonna downstream everything that we can and whatever is left we're not doing the pool ca uh pool deck and whatever is left we'll hit it with a straight mix of uh sh with the pump up sprayer mm.
Okay, everything has been downstream on the inside. We're gonna let that sit. And I'll see if we can melt some of this uh, lichen off before we rinse. I'm gonna let that sit for a good 15 minutes. Come back and give it a rinse. I'm gonna continue washing the house. Y'all stay tuned. Sometimes the ball doesn't roll down your way. We're not able to finish the job. Daylight saving time. So we're losing a bunch of daylight. It's only five, well no, it's uh, yeah, 5.54, six o'clock. And um, that lichen in the back is tough. So um, that, that ate up most of our time. Um, and we weren't able to get everything done. So we just have to come back it is what it is nothing we can do about that so um we got most of the lichen off um uh, most well halfway actually halfway done but we're not able to get the middle section done tonight because it's so thick that you know we we, we were in here for over two hours just on the cage so uh, we're gonna have to come back but we got the cage clean uh, you know, we got it back white, but the lichen in the middle, we have to come back and do another day. Uh, we were able to wash the house, but I'm not able to do the mud daubers in the front entrance because, like I said, under there is pretty dark. It's hard, uh, hard to see, so we're just going to have to um, do it another day. It is what it is. All right, guys, I'm back the next day to get this job finished. Um, it was getting dark, like I said last night. If you guys can see, the middle screens has a bunch of lichen. We sprayed those last night twice. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can spray them one more time to see if I can uh, get them to loosen up. Uh, as far as the cage go, you guys can see the cage is actually clean, but the lichen is so bad. You can actually see the reflection of the lichen, the shadow on the, <laughs> on the beams. So we're gonna get that sprayed up and um, rinsed off. And then we got a bunch of mud daubers to do at the front. <laughs>
Mud Dabba Central. Cleaned up as best as possible. Somebody tried to remove some before, so they took away the because they're trying to like use a, I don't know, maybe a, a scraper and that doesn't work. It leaves a residue behind and most of the time you just pick off the paint. We got the fascia all cleaned up. They got the garage open, um, so we can't really show you that. Uh, let's go show you that monster in the back now. She's dried. All right, there she goes. She's all dried up. You gotta say I got most of them that I could. I mean, they can't complain about this at all. You couldn't even look through these screens earlier. Oh, yesterday, I keep saying earlier. <laughs> Forgot it's the next day. Yes, sir. Hi y'all. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I put in a lot of work for you guys so I can show you how it goes in the field. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, any questions you got. Tell your friends, tell your family about the channel. We're trying to get the 15K so we can do a giveaway for you guys. All right, y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna catch y'all the next one. Peace.